being Indo-Canadian, because that's what I identify as, uh, I, am, I have the privilege to bring stories from back home and, and share them with audiences here. However, they're Canadian in their own way as well, because I wrote them and I am Canadian and I d identify as being Canadian. But, but, you know, when I go back home, I'm always, it's almost like as a playwright, it's an instinctual hunt because I'm always absorbing things that I find fascinating, you know, and in terms of letters to my grandma, it's a piece that was completely organic, completely from the heart, from the soul. And um, my grandmother survived the 1947 uh, partition of India and Pakistan in World War II, uh, the war. And I was raised in that family. I was raised in a family of like war survivors, people that believed in politics, people that believed in the arts. It, there was always conversation about cinema, film, art. Uh, politics, fighting, like it was just in my family. That's how I was raised. So with those stories, you become a product of that, you know? So I, I'm always drawn to war stories, to Holocaust stories, to, to, to things that transform people. It's really fascinating to be a playwright and an actor in a project that has more than one person, because Brothel Number Nine had four four actors in it, the director will say, "Okay, Anushri, the playwright, you need to leave the room, so Anushri, the actor, can actually concentrate on acting." Watching a scene that I'm not, I'm not in, you know, there's two other actors in, and they're performing, and it's the first pass. As a playwright, you're sitting there, like literally, like intensely watching, you know, scene happen, and you go, "This is not right. This is not how I wrote the line." He can't say it right. So might as well change the line in a way that he can say it that I think is right for the message. And then you have the director going, stop it, stop it. We are in rehearsal day one. By, day, by week three, he will get it. I'm like, but he's not. And he's, you know, the director will be like, but he will. You need to give him three weeks to get there. That's why we have three weeks rehearsal. And you sit there, you trust that. And three weeks later, you go, oh my God, brilliant. This is brilliant. But it's, it's just trusting, you know. With every story that I do is, is you want to tell the truth, you want to explore the heart and the meat of these characters that you're telling. And I think, God willing, so far the audiences and the community has really responded to me uh, exploring that.